Hey George, uh, welcome to Zoom. Hey. Nice to see you. Hey, thanks for sending I, I, just got, I just got the guitars through the post. Thanks for sending them, man. Oh, and, did uh, you? Yeah, hey. I'm excited to try them. Are you in your studio right now? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in the studio. It's actually, uh, it's it's snowed outside. There's snows like this thick. So I'm, uh, yeah, excited to go out in that and uh, <laughs> see if I can make a snowball or something. But um, yeah, man, I'm uh, I'm super super excited to to play him. I um I've been playing the other one that you gave me, the one um, that I was using in the Afterglow video, just nonstop. Cause they're just so great. Oh, great! So they, they, there was two Afterglow videos. The the one in the studio was uh, actually both of those guitars. The one in the studio and the one uh, the video that was released as the sort of uh, what would you call it? Official video. Oh yeah, well the one in the, the one in the studio is this one. This the uh, my uh, my gig one. You know the one that uh, has all the scratches in it. <laughs> That's good. So that one, um, that one Ed is is um, Indian Rosewood. So is the other one. Yeah. And we're going we're going to talk about that in a few minutes. Um, uh, but I, I, I just was thinking the other day about how all this came about because it's about six years now. It's incredible how time. Yeah, well, I mean, for me, for me, it was uh, being a fanatical Damien Rice fan as a kid, and he had this yeah. uh, this Loudon that he played at every every single gig, and I just remember looking at the loud like I like I, I was obsessed, like completely obsessed with him. Um, and you know what wanted to dress like him, wanted to sing like him, wanted to write like him, wanted to play the guitar like him. And I remember looking up Loudon guitars and them being, you know, quite expensive, obviously, because they're all handmade. And you know, I was like 12 or 13 at the time, like, yeah, I can't, I can't get one of them. So the dream sort of died there. And then, um, when I was on tour with Snow Patrol in 2012, or no, maybe it was 2011, no, no, it was 2012 when I was on tour, Gary. Play, just plays Loudons all the time. And I was like, fuck, man, like, I, I, I really, really want one of those. Because they're, they're, they're also gold dust to find. I mean, you have to, you have to really, really know where, where to find one. And if you can find someone that sell it, you then have to get on a waiting list for one. So, you know, it's, and, and Gary was like, well, I know George, so uh, I'll, just, I'll, just, I'll just speak to George. So I was kind of waiting on Gary to um, intro me with you. And then I think I met you in, I think you came down to, uh, when I played the Odyssey, I think I yeah, that's, you, well, you came down to the workshop when you were oh, playing. Yeah, yeah. No, of course, uh, yeah, yeah. But, I remember yeah. that you, you bought a whole stack of guitars, and I was I was kind of shocked, but it was in, in a good way, you know. Well, was, I think for me, you know, Gary had given me uh, the Bushmills guitar that you'd made for him. So he gave me that as a gift and I used that on most of Multiply. That's all, all the, at the first song of Multiply, um, the song one is all, is all done on that, on that guitar uh, oh. uh, photograph. And, you know, so I'd done, I'd made most of the album with it. So when I got the chance to go to your workshop and you had all these guitars on display and I was sort of like, I'll buy all of them. And j just to sort of <laughs> see if I can have them, but it, I just love it. I mean, I've got, I, I, I've actually got a Loudon guitar in every single room of the house. It just like there's, they're, they're just, they're just around all different ones. The ni nylon one, the Wee Loud, and the Bushmills Loud, and they're just, they're just all, all scattered around because it's just nice to sort of walk into a room and have a beautiful instrument there that you can pick up and play. But anyway, sorry, I, I digress. So the, <laughs> so I was thinking about Gary and and uh, Foy, you know, Foy Vance because. Um, well, Gary's from Bangor, Foy Vance is from Bangor, and I'm from Bangor. So I'm guessing that might be something to do with it. But uh, I remember Gary getting in touch and asking me to make a guitar for you. And I thought, my goodness, the problem is I don't make any small guitars. <laughs> so, so I had to go, I went up the North Coast, spent a week up there and designed this small guitar, which has now become known as the Wii. Yeah. That's because in Northern Ireland is we, right? So it was a kind of obvious name for it. And uh, the problem was, of course, trying to get a good sound out of a small guitar. So my my focus was just trying to revoice the guitar. And you got the very first we. Yeah, so I, I've still got it. I've still got it. It's downstairs in the. Uh, I, I have a um, like a, a a jam room downstairs, but it's down um, it's down there. Oh, uh, very good. And then. Um, while I was making that, but you hadn't, you didn't even know it was coming. 
And I met Foy Vance in uh, Hollywood one day, just on the street. We, I mean, we knew each other. And Foy said, hey, George, I'm going to hook you up with Ed. And I said, oh, well, great. You know, so he, he hooked me up with you. I sent you an email. You sent one back. The problem was I couldn't tell you what I was doing <laughs> because I was making guitar for you. <laughs> so I had to... I sent you an email saying, I'm working on a wee secret project, you know, and uh, we'll be in touch shortly, you know, sort of thing. And then you came down to the factory, as you said, and you bought a whole stack of guitars, and it's kind of gone on from there. And, and um, the next thing I had to do was try and make a guitar that worked for you on stage. Yeah, because I mean, I think that was the toughest one, because you're, um, they sort of have such a large sound and on when I'm on stage uh when I beat the guitar if it's too much of a full body it's just it's very alive and uh you know it's prone to prone to feedback so the stage guitars that you made for me were these like sort of thinner body ones that were just just a joy to play yeah. and 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 also like because I move move around quite a lot and I'm jumping sort of from box to box and and stuff having a guitar that's compact was so useful to have on stage. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think it's, it, it, was, it was a big challenge for me because my whole sort of life, I've spent trying to, trying to extract more sound out of the guitar, you know? And then all of a sudden I have to actually, <laughs> you know, suppress it. And, um, but I, I remember taking that guitar down, the first stage guitar, I remember taking it down to, to Chris uh, you're a sound man, mm. and he through the rig, and he said, "Oh, I'm taking that to Singapore tomorrow," and then it sort of started from there. So uh, yeah. it, was, it was really good, really great, man. But the uh, yeah, so the the way that the Sheerans came about was um, we had spoken. I think I'd spoken to you about the uh, possibility of. I think we were going to do a line, weren't we? We were going to do a line of affordable Loudons uh, or uh, an affordable yeah. Loudon um, and then it sort of made more sense to do it as a subsidiary um, yeah. com company so it could kind of build into its own thing I guess because I thought it was important yeah. to be able to get you know the the 13 year old in me being able to look at the quality of a Loudon guitar but, but also it not be an unachievable feat I mean there's still there's you know there's still it's still not a like entry entry level guitar but it's you know it's a good it's a it's a good guitar in its price bracket it, I, I I personally think it's better than anything else in its price bracket oh thank you <laughs> yeah well of course for me the you know normally guitars that cost less than a thousand pounds um, you know, are made in, let's say, China or the Far East or somewhere, somewhere else. Anyway, um, so for me to try and set up a new, a new factory, if you like, we don't like to call our, our factories factory. You know, they're a new workshop really to, um, to make the guitars here in Ireland was was a big challenge, but yeah. we're two years on their line now, and um, everything's going very well. It's two years now. Yeah. Wow. wow. I'm amazed. I'm amazed at the quality that you can get in uh, the kind of space of time that it takes to make one. That you know, you've got, you've re you really, really, really worked it, to it down to a, a, a fine, a fine art. It's well, I've good. got a really good, really good team now. Uh, we've got about thirty, about thirty people um, um, uh, making the guitars, and you know, they've been, all been trained from scratch. And we've developed some high tech ways of doing things just for the sheering. Yeah. Lab. The uh, sheering. Spa it's space, space engineering thing. That, 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 that was what blew, blew, blew my mind. You want to talk about that? <laughs> it's, a whole, it's a whole different ballgame. I mean, I'm working with guys who are used to working to microns of accuracy, which suits me great because I try to do that with, my, with hand work, but it, it's much more difficult um, with hand. But they, they've been doing a great job. They've developed a lot of really high-tech ways of doing things with me and with my son, Aaron. And, you know, we're using vacuum a lot and we're using CAD and CAM and all that stuff. And the guitars are, are very good, but we still have the kind of hand touch, you know. Mm -hmm. We still have, we still carve the internal struts with Japanese chisels, for example. So there's a kind of mix of high-tech and uh, 
traditional skills, I suppose you might say. Okay. So we're very pleased. The guitars are getting better and better. I'm working really hard with the whole team. Uh, and my son Aaron is doing the same. Um, just to fine tune things and try and make them better all the time. So the, the new ones you've got, uh, I, just to say. Should I whack them out now? Yeah, if you could. So when did you get them, Ed? Uh, they arrived like maybe like four days ago. Oh. But I didn't want to. I didn't want to un unpack them until I could uh, be on the phone with you. Mate, how are they still in tune? They travelled overseas. <laughs> oh wow! Look at look at that! Look at that fretboard. The tone of the two tone of that. Can you see that? Yeah, yeah. That's the. That's, there's an interesting story behind that, because um, that's the ebony that nobody wanted for years. The what? You know, the, 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 the ebony? That nobody wanted. Everybody wanted jet black ebony. And therefore, all the trees, and it was most of the trees, were not jet black. So they just ended up left on the ground in Africa. And so now what they're doing is they're using those trees, and it's a, it's a really good use of good wood instead of just leaving them to rot, you know? Yeah, so. mate, it's so, so beautiful. I, do you know, I don't, I, 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 I don't want to like, uh, sort of like bring the, the, the loud and brand down to this, but the, these are, I think just as good. The, the sound, the sound is so warm and rich. We, mate, that's so is that the S? I think it's the S, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, it's not. I think. I think the reason. Let me get the. Uh, let me get the other one out. Pick up. And, and pick that, up. Um, this is the Indian rosewood version, rather like the original ones. Very, very dark Indian rosewood. Um, Mate, they are is, so beautiful. I might have to start playing a, an, an S. <laughs> yeah. The, the other one out. Get the, we are, yeah. So this is the, this is the, the way. Yep. Such, such such good quality, man. Oh, thank you, thank you. The, what, what about the action? Um, is the action working okay for you as it is? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's low. It's low. I like it. I'm working quite hard with the guys on that, you know, to get to get the action set up really comfortably. You know, but you can't go too far because if you go too far, then you end up. Um, the buzzing when you play it hard, but I like, on the other, I, I like the twelves on it as well, man. Yeah, very oh, good. They're fitted with loud and light strings. There you go. <laughs> I like that. That's cool, man. Awesome. Yeah. So we were gonna, uh, we were gonna sign these guitars, weren't we, and get, uh, to have a competition for people to win it. Yeah, I mean, if if you could, we've what we've done is we've decided if you could sign both of those, then we're going to offer them as prizes. Uh, in this little competition we're gonna gonna run. So when this video comes out, um, if folk want to add in the comments below the video um, what song they would play if they won the prize, oh. which song that they would play? Which song of mine, or just which song in 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 general? Because you can uh, it could be itsy what is it itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini. I could play that. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Um, and then if they, if they, that's all they have to do, just enter it in the comments below and then we'll give them away. So all people have to do is comment below this video what song they'd play on the guitar and then they can get a free Sheeran by Loud and guitar. Two lucky winners will, will uh, win them, yeah. Amazing. <laughs>
I mean, that seems seems like a decent deal. Wicked, man. Well, I'll just sign, I'll sign the other one. Oh. The gig, gig bags are great as well. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're very, uh, that very would take you your busking days. Yeah, well, I mean, the, the, the gig bag that I had back in the, uh, back in the day definitely wasn't as uh, robust as in safe for the, for the guitar. It didn't have this much padding. So uh, yeah. it, it went, whenever I was traveling on the tube and I'd knock it, it would go out, out of tune. So these are actually more robust. Um, and you could, you, could, you, could fit, you could fit a fair bit in this front thing as well. Probably even yeah. fit a loop pedal in there. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so those are the, those are the first, the first um, Sharon by Loudon with Indian Rosewood. Amazing. Um, and is that, so is that, that's on the back, right? And the sides. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you, you notice, by the way, that we we're using a natural oil finish on the back and sides and neck, so there's no harmful chemicals being used. Um, and that, that's why the wood kind of feels like wood. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't feel all... Well, I mean, that's, sort of, the, the, that's, that's the thing also that I really like about them is most guitars at this sort of like price point they're not always wood on the sides or back so this is um you know it's a, it's an actually actual real real wood real uh, real finish yeah and i think also you get a slightly warmer sound from the indian rosewood yeah uh, mm -hmm. i think this is my favorite out of the two the s converting you to the s now Well, they're signed anyway. So if anyone if you, there, wants you record to, on an S, let me know, and then we'll. Say what? We'll have a good, if you record on an S, let me know, and we'll have a good listen. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Well, I'm, uh, I, I'm uh, finishing up stuff in here this this week, so I'll. Um, actually, do you know what? I'll put one of these on the recording, so whoever gets, whoever wins the guitar, will have a guitar that's actually played on the record. Yeah, yeah that's even cooler. Yeah, because I, I, I'm just—I mean, I'm—I'm I'm guessing that the competition won't be for another couple of weeks, will it? Well, it'll be. Yeah, I mean, it could—it could be next week. Yeah, no problem. Cool. So well, if you, I'll, uh, I'll put it on a song tomorrow. I'll put—I'll put both on. I'll put, but I'll put—I'll put the Wii and the S on a song. Oh, that's fantastic! Brilliant. Two, two, going to be two very lucky people. So yeah, sorry, whoever win and wins them, they haven't got the tags on. Uh, no problem. Oh. Listen, Ed. Thanks very much for 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 doing that. Giving those giving those guitars a road test. Oh, of um, course, man. They're, they're they're great. Thank you so much for uh, um, making such great instruments for people to play. And yeah, I'm just uh, I'm just so grateful to be able to work collaboratively with you on these and make them exactly what they need to be. You know. Oh, thanks. Yeah. No, it's it's been uh, it's been a pleasure. Um, you know, one of, the, one of the things a guitar maker needs, he needs feedback from, from uh, musicians. Yeah, for and sure. You've been very good in, in giving me that and actually pushing me to do some things that I wouldn't otherwise do, which has been good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thinking, yeah. About the, thinking about the electric for Gary and, uh, and then having to, you know, design the stage guitars. If you, you've really pushed me and that's good, so thanks. Well, thank you, man. Thank you for just making wonderful, wonderful um, instruments. And uh, yeah, I hope I hope you're all safe and happy. And uh, I'll see you when all of this is over. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You too. Stay safe. All right, Ed. Thank you, man. Thank you. Right then. Lots of love. See you later. Likewise. Bye. Bye. Bye see you later. Bye. Bye.